What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Sunday edition of The Squeeze. I am Tyler Conium. You can follow me on Twitter at Tyler Conium for uh, lots of picks and props and sports talk throughout the day. What a Saturday it was in sports. No matter what you like, there was something for you. If you like the NBA, if you like college basketball, if you like the NHL, if you like soccer, if you like MMA, there was something for everything. And everything was a lot of fun. The Michigan State-Iowa game, if you're a college basketball Oh, and speaking of college basketball, Sheridan Bruins, shout out to my alma mater. They're going to the OCAA championship game. They beat Centennial College. So somewhere around here, I have... Yeah, look at this. If you're watching on YouTube, there is the Sheridan College Diploma, print journalism, with honors. So shout out to Sheridan. Well done there. Great day of college hoops. Great day of sports in general. The Iowa-Michigan State game was great. The ending to that was insane. The last Michigan was up like, what, 10 points with a minute to go, and they lost. It went into double overtime, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, our bets went 1-1. One and one. The MMA UFC parlay, I voided it. The Nikita Krola fight was called off due to injury, and then we were just left with Andre Munez at minus 225. Uh, because they would keep the one leg of the parlay, but I just cashed that out. I said, you know what? I'm not. He ended up losing the fight too, which was nice, but I'm not keeping one bet on a minus 225. It's just not worth it. So we X'd that one out. So that is voided. Uh, and the Toronto Raptors, they won by four. So we, we did lose that bet. It was interesting. So I have, the other two bets were on Toronto teams. I bet Toronto to cover. They won, but didn't cover. And then I bet TFC over, which happened, but they lost. So you take the good with the bad. The Raptors didn't cover. TFC, man, that game flew over. We had over 2.75 on the Asian line betting. So we hit both overs. We hit three and ended up getting to five. Um, Apple TV did a very good job with MLS. If it is something you're considering this season, whether or not you want to pay to subscribe to the MLS season pass, the coverage, the commentating I didn't love, but in terms of the actual quality of the streams, great better than cable and anyway tfc was up two to one late in that game dc united tied it in the 90th minute and then they took uh the lead with 20 seconds left in extra time so tfc loses their debut insignia got hurt so you don't know what's going on there but it is what it is there so one and one officially flat there and if you do follow me on twitter we had michigan state iowa to go over 145 and a half there was 200 points in that game and then we had Texas and Baylor to go over 148 and a half. I stopped watching that game at halftime. There were 90 something second half points scored in that game. So we hit that as well. So overall, a three and one day. One and one here on the squeeze. All good. So today we've got three more bets across three different sports. And we're going to start with that's right, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury in the boxing fight that will happen this afternoon. I believe the card starts at 2. His fight goes on at 5. It's in Dubai. Listen, I do not like Jake Paul. I don't pretend to like what he's doing, but this is a betting video podcast, and we want to win bets, and I'm pretty sure these fights are fixed, and I'm pretty sure we're not going to see Jake Paul lose today to Tommy Fury. If he's going to lose to Fury, maybe that happens on the second half of a, of a rematch thing. Um I like actually Jake Paul by TKO. I probably will take that bet as well. It's plus 260. But we're just going to keep it simple. We're just going to take the money line. It's not too juicy. Minus 140. We're going to pay the juice on that. Um, it's interesting. This is the first time that it's been billed as Paul's fighting an actual boxer. But a lot of people think that Fury's actually a worse boxer than Anderson Silva was that Fury beat. And they actually think he's worse than Woodley too. Um and Jake Paul has apparently been, you know, improving and doing a little bit better. Um, and it, people aren't super pumped about how good Tommy Fury is. Uh, I think that Jake Paul, Paul can win this fight. Again, I I don't want to go into too much analysis because I think this is probably something that is a fixed fight. I think that the gravy train's not going to end. There's just too much money here. Um, but listen, Tommy Fury is not Tyson Fury. Tommy Fury does have some talent, certainly. Um Maybe he kind of finds a couple spots here and there, but I just don't think it's going to be able to happen. Um, a lot of even some people are predicting Tim Bissell predicting it's a squash match orchestrated by Paul because he, he knows he could beat Fury. Otherwise, he just wouldn't do the fight. Paul's not going to fight people he thinks he could possibly lose. Um, apparently, this is just a workout for the Nate Diaz fight that might be coming, which is pretty interesting. And I think Tommy Fury just has a bit of a name. A lot of people are actually predicting Paul to, to get the knockout here as well. So we're just going to take Jake Paul to win this fight. Minus 140 at FanDuel on the money line, whether it's points, whether it's knockout, whatever. We're just going to take the money. 
And I think you get in really good here because, again, this is basically like betting on WWE. And I'm not betting against Roman Reigns against Sami Zayn. I'm not betting against Jake Paul against Tommy Fury. Take that as you will. Let's move to the NHL. And this has just become an auto fire. We've got the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Minnesota Wild, under six goals, minus 120 at DraftKings. The Minnesota Wild are 34 and 23 to the under. Columbus is 29 and 29 to the under. These two teams just played, oh, three days ago. It was a 2 0 win for Minnesota. Obviously, way under Columbus. 3 0 oh, 1 to the under in the last four games. They're 6 0 oh, to the under in their last six against the Central. Under is 6 1 1 in the Blue Jackets' last eight against the West. And under is 5 1 in their last six overall. Then you go to the Minnesota Wild. Under is 7 0 oh, in their last seven against the East. 4 0 oh, in their last four against a team with a winning percentage under 40. 10 and 1 in their last 11 in the fourth game of a 4 and 6 situation. Under 16 4 and 14 16 4 and 2 in their last 22 meetings. 7 3 and 1 in their last 11 meetings in Minnesota. Automatically fire. Also, I believe Columbus played last night. They did play last night and it was a 6-5 win over Edmonton, so 11 goals there. You might be thinking, well, they scored a lot of goals last night. Listen, Minnesota is not Edmonton. Edmonton gives up a ton of goals. They basically just, it's a run and gun offense. Minnesota is not that. And Columbus is terrible. They're 1935 and four. The person in net for them is going to be uh, Merzlikens, who's 615 and one with a 4.2 on goals against. So Minnesota might score four or five themselves, but I don't think Columbus scores more than one. So we're going to take the Minnesota Wild and the Columbus Blue Jackets under six for minus 120 at DraftKings. And then our last bet of the day is back to the MLS. Again, it was a big day yesterday. A lot of teams playing. There's one game tonight. It goes at 8 p.m. It is the Seattle Sounders versus the Colorado Rapids. Another team made the playoffs last season in the MLS, but Seattle is much improved. They're one of the more uh, touted teams this season, especially on the defensive end. Their defensive rating has them around eighth in terms of defensive rating. You got to go all the way to the bottom of the list for Colorado. They have they're one of the you know predicted to be one of the bottom five teams this season. When they've done a you know simulated seasons, they've done all the statistics, crunched the numbers. Seattle's predicted to finish around seventh and eighth, to be around as good as FC Cincinnati, LA Galaxy, Nashville, and you've got Colorado, one of the worst teams in the league. They've got them down towards the bottom. They actually have the uh, sorry the Sounders eighty percent chance to make the playoffs, seventy four percent chance to win round one. You look at Colorado, 50% chance uh, of making the playoffs there. And then you look at historically, the Sounders have won 15 of their last eight. This game is being played in Seattle at Lumen Field. Sounders have won 15 of their last 18 home matches against Colorado. This includes the playoffs. They've won six in a row. Seattle's 8-3-3 win percentage at home against Colorado is the highest in MLSA history amongst uh, teams that have played at least 10 games. Um, Rapids have won just one of their last 19 road matches in all competitions last season. That was a 5-4 victory over the Red Bulls in New York in early August. Colorado's eight points and 42 goals conceded tied San Jose for the worst marks in the road in MLSE last season. So Colorado, not a good team last year. Seattle, not so much either, but they made a lot more improvements than Colorado did. And the Sounders have just had their number. So we're just going to take the Seattle Sounders on the money line. In right, so obviously in, in 90 minutes plus stoppage, we've got them for minus 120 at bet 365. I think that's really, really good odds. If you take Seattle and the draw, then you're at like minus 500, so you don't want to do that. But I think Seattle just wins this fight. So the theme of today is just take what makes sense. Don't overthink it. I feel like the last couple of days I've been overthinking things, really looking at lines, looking at this. Let's just take what we think is going to happen and and go with it and, and go with what works. So that is your Sunday card. Running back down your Sunday, I like Jake Paul to win this fight over Tommy Fury. Minus 140 at FanDuel. I like the Minnesota Wild and the Columbus Blue Jackets to go under 6 for minus 120 at DraftKings. And I like the Seattle Sounders on the money line. Minus 120 at Bet365, paying the juice on all three of those bets. Feel free to drop a comment if you're fading or following. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at Tyler Connie for more picks and props throughout the day. TikTok and Instagram for just the picks portions of this video and audio versions available on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. Let's have another great, great Sunday. Let's talk sports.